Hey, Kevin Barker here. So I help entrepreneurs get results with Facebook ads. And I want to talk to you about iOS 14.5, which is the big privacy update where Facebook's going to be limited with the amount of data. So if you're running ads to like a Shopify and you have the integration set up where, you know, it asks you to log in to your Facebook account and all that, you're fine. Um, but as I know, a lot of other people actually use something called ClickFunnels. So if you're running ads to ClickFunnels, you need to 100% get the conversions API set up. So if you kind of go and get it set up with like a service like Zapier, you're going to notice that the dollar figures that get sent in from a purchase uh, in your, your funnel is in cents. So that will totally throw off what you see in Facebook ads. So your numbers will be just completely off. So there's a little way where you can actually use um, a process in Zapier um, to fix that. And I'm going to actually walk you through exactly how to set up uh, your click funnels uh, and the Facebook conversion API. So let me show you real quick uh, by sharing my screen. All right. So obviously th this is Zapier. So if you aren't familiar with it, it's Z-A-P-I-E-R.com. And essentially it just connects tons of stuff together and makes it just super duper easy. So what you need to obviously do is, you know, connect your ClickFunnels account and then the new one called Facebook conversions. Um, so it's essentially, it's just talking directly to Facebook with all your conversion data. So if you obviously get this set up, you'll, you'll notice right here, which I'm talking about, ClickFunnels is sending this as this. So if you were to actually have this number inputted into the conversions API, this would get sent as 17,700. So your numbers would be completely off. So what you need to do is um, do something, um, which is called this um, one right here, which is called formatter by Zapier. And you wanna select this action, which is numbers. And then the next, what you wanna do is uh, perform a math operation and then divide. And then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna actually be pulling in from here, um, that sense, which is this one. And then essentially what you're doing is you're gonna be dividing it by 100. And then what ends up happening is that it outputs it as this, which would be the correct amount because this is a $177 product. And then when you're setting up the um, conversion API, uh, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be obviously setting it up as a website and then a purchase event in there. So um, obviously you've got the uh, event time that's gonna be pulling in you know, from here. Uh, the other one that you need to get is obviously their email the first last name, their IP address. And then obviously you're gonna come down here and you're actually pulling in from this numbers, which is that output right there, US dollars. Um, and then um, one thing that obviously before you set up is it's like the event, which is obviously it's a purchase. Uh, so obviously if you set it up, it's gonna make your life a lot easier because then Facebook's gonna be able to obviously look at it. And then after a day or two, um, the more info you send, they'll be able to actually um, remove the duplicates. And Facebook with this is actually going to get more data. So it's actually going to get smarter as time goes on. So this is obviously a way oh, to get around those iOS privacy updates. So if you aren't doing it, 100% set it up. If this was helpful, please share it with somebody you know. And if you'd like to speak with me or somebody in my team about Facebook ads, all you got to do is go to brkal.com slash call. Thanks.